How do we combine recreation, public safety, education, and fun? They all come together at Bloomington Safety Boot Camp. This week on the Verbrigge View, why don't you come along and see what we're doing to make sure that the young people in our community are safe and having fun. Jessica Christensen Buck, a recreation intern with the City of Bloomington, and she is coordinating Safety Boot Camp. So Jessica, tell us a little bit about this event. How many people do we have attending this year? Currently we've got about 150. We've got Alina here talking about some of their EMT stuff, as well as public health talking about CERT. We've got public health talking about vector safety, so mosquitoes and ticks, and hand washing and food safety. And then we've also got fire outside, as well as park maintenance and police as well so bomb squad and uh, the age of our campers they're 7 to 12 but we encourage anyone from 5 to 12 to come out so what do we want as takeaways for the kids who are attending safety boot camp safety I mean that's the main thing I think fire is in there talking about what you should cover the bottom of the door if there's a fire and you don't want to get smoke in the room I mean they're covering everything from mosquitoes to fires to it, ambulance emergencies so let's head outside and see some of the learning stations that our campers will be visiting. So we're checking in with the Bloomington Bomb Squad. What am I learning today at Safety Camp? Well, you're learning a little bit about what we do and some of the equipment that we use. So right in front of you, obviously, is our helmet that we have for our suit, which is here. Uh, the suit weighs about 90 pounds, give or take, and uh, it obviously protects us uh, from things that explode. Um, when we can, we use the robots to solve the problems so we don't have to. So do the campers really enjoy seeing the robot? They love the robots. How many robots do we have? Uh, in the city we have, the Bomb Squad has four, and I believe SWAT has two little ones. But uh, all the stuff you see, I mean, it, it has been used uh, on all the, all the calls and uh, assisting SWAT teams and uh, moving, moving devices from point A to point B. So Bloomington is relatively unique in having a bomb squad. We are one of just how many in the state? So there are four bomb squads in the state. Um, St. Paul, Minneapolis, us, and uh, Crow Wing County up in Brandon. So we roll out to all parts of the state, or at least certain regions, right? All over. So the, if Mankato calls the state duty office and said we have a device, uh, Mankato looks at the map, they realize that's Bloomington's area. We get paged out and, and we go. So anytime we get deployed, we are considered a state team when we leave the city. So how do our police officers end up on the bomb squad? Is it voluntary or conscription? It, it is voluntary and I think honestly it's probably a little bit of a childhood curiosity for all of us. Um, but it's something different and something unique. And uh, you know, sometimes you know, there are parts of it that are challenging and I think you would all of us would probably say that we all like that challenge. Thanks guys. You bet, thank you. Now we're going to see what the fire department is doing here at Safety Boot Camp. With us is Jeanette Nord, one of our Bloomington firefighters, 20 years on the fire department. Jeanette, what have you been talking to the kids about today? I've been talking to them about what I've done as a driver, how I get to the scene, and if it's confirmed fire, that I pump the truck and they, the hoses that we use and which fires we use which hoses for. And then uh, also let them try the gear to see how heavy it is and look at some of the equipment that we have on this truck. What sort of questions have you been getting from the campers? They wanted to know how many gallons of water and how many fires I go to, stuff like that. And what have your responses been? Too many fires. I would like to go to less. Uh, 750 <laughs> gallons of water on the truck. Really? Yeah. I'm presuming you do public education like this because you think it's an important part of the job? Yes, it's very important. How often do you get out and do public education in the community? Uh, I'd say this is about my 10th time this year. Oh, that's fantastic. So what is the, what is the most important message that you can give to one of our campers 
in the very little time that you're in front of them? Uh, always be ready for an emergency. Practice, drill, practice, know your meeting place, um, know what to do in an emergency, no matter what emergency it is. Thanks, Jeanette Nord, member of our Bloomington Fire Department, and now there's one more thing we've got to do here at Safety Boot Camp. <laughs> to wrap up this week's Verbrugge View, we're going to take the safest vehicle that I can drive, which is our Bearcat Armored Vehicle, for a spin. We'll see you next time on Verbrugge View.